Hi, I'm Kevin. I am the equipment and studio manager here at Attention in Los Angeles, and uh, this is my space. Come on inside. Uh, so we've built this space out for all of our productions, uh, branded uh, originals and things like that. The space has been designed for our uh, personal use, and it's been really great uh, to have it these last few years. Uh, so this is our main entranceway. We have my office equipment room here. Um, we're kind of walking through the production office area, green room for talent, PO kitchen area for producers, hair and makeup rooms behind us. I'll show you that later. But the real fun happens here in our 1300 square foot soundstage. Uh, this space was built out uh, in 2020. It was actually ready to shoot uh, right as the pandemic began. So it went a little dark for a few months, but um, since things have been coming back up, we've been uh, utilizing the space uh, pretty much every day and it's been great. So we're here on the attention stage right now uh, and I hear there's questions. Yes, absolutely. How many pieces of equipment do you have? Uh, I have Definitely over a thousand. Um, the exact number I couldn't tell you. In this space alone, um, there's a probably around 200, 300 individual pieces of equipment in here. Can you show me what's used most often? Sure. Um, I Probably the most often thing is actually what's this way over here. This is our, uh, our big psych wall um, with all of our Mull Richardson LED uh, variable lights. Uh, this is kind of where we live and um, most of our productions happen right now. Is it also the, the item, the piece of equipment that, that you think is the coolest? Uh, let's see, coolest piece of equipment uh, in this space right now is probably the lighting setup, setup I have. Um, I have about 20 individual lights right now currently in the grid uh, and programmed into our DMX board. So here I have our ETC Element 2 uh, all built out. I've made it, uh, you know, user friendly for people who aren't familiar with lighting. Um, this here is kind of an overview of our lights on the grid. Everything is touchscreen, which is really cool. Uh, let's see, let's take our psych wall. Uh, we'll have to cut back and forth for a minute, but let's say we wanted to make our stage blue. I can turn it blue, a nice check room blue uh, going on. Uh, we can make it red, pink, and now we can have our rainbow crawl uh, across our psych wall in the back there. Wow. So we'll leave that, let's leave that up and running right now because that's just fun to have. It is, very, yeah. Is that what you like to play play around with most? Like, is that the, the thing you, yes. you love doing the most, the lights? Yeah, no, I, uh, I really enjoy lighting. Um, you know, working with different DPs as they come through our stage uh, and kind of learning how each director of photography has their own lighting style and their own um, preferences to how they like to uh, light a scene, light an actor. Uh, we do a lot of interviews and talking heads here, so it's always fun to uh, just play around with different lighting setups. So when there's a shoot going on, what is it that you usually do? You know, here, first thing in the morning, I'm normally first one in, last one out, making sure our crews have um, everything they need in terms of production. I work closely with the gaffer and the DP, um, you know, telling, making sure they know where everything is, have the equipment and support they need for our production. Uh, if we are working on something a little smaller, I will actually jump in and help light or work with the DP. I've, you know, I also shoot videos and stuff for attention as well. Um, but typically I'm here to support making sure that our teams, you know, run smoothly and we can get in and out uh, throughout our day without any issues. And so where do we find you most often? Is that here yes. by the lights set up? So or? if I am, um, if I'm not here working on the stage with our productions, you can find me hiding away in my Heidi Hole office back here. Uh, we'll come back into the main space and we will enter my equipment room. We have a lovely sign I made in case uh, when we have stages here, if I have to run and do some errands, people will know where I've run off to that I haven't abandoned them. 
Maybe you can show me what the tidiest corner is in your equipment room. What's... The tidiest yeah. corner? Yeah. Uh, I'll show you. Yeah, let's see. I'll show you the tidiest. So I have um, my two nice big lockers here. Uh, kind of probably the most tidy spot I have at the moment, just so I know where I can find everything, is our camera and lens locker here. I have our C300 Mark IIs built out with our wooden camera cages, um, our L-series uh, glass from Canon. Uh, let's see what else I got in here. Um, we have our Teradex, we have our onboard monitors, we have, you know, all of our camera and lens accessories basically live here. And then next door, we have all of our, uh, a lot of our sound accessories and kind of our, you know, smaller field kits. I have a bunch of ring lights. Since the pandemic began, we've been sending out a lot of uh, kits to people's homes when we do remote interviews. Do you have any cool tips for other equipment managers? Yeah, I think um, one of the things I learned definitely is make sure everything's, you know, make labels. Uh, labeling things, making sure you um, break things out by category. You know, you want to make sure your items are easy to find, invisible, and labeled. The messiest corner. The which, messiest corner, yeah. yeah. Can you show me that one as well? I'm, I'm, <laughs> this, is, this is kind of, this has always been something I'm constantly working to approve. This white shelf here is kind of my uh, space where bits and pieces that are don't necessarily have a specific category or home. Um, this shelf is a work in progress and it's been that way for a little too long. So people then they just stop by and and they they can take whatever they want and they generally how does it work? Yeah, so generally um, you know, producers come to me and they're like, Hey, we have a shoot this date. Uh, we need to, you know, we need two cameras, we need uh, you know, your, our field lights and things like that. And I'm like, great, I build out an order and check room. Uh, I come in the day before or the day of, depending on what time they go out. I pull all the gear, I lay it all out nice and neat for them uh, uh, in the stage. And then they come in and prep or they come in and, you know, take the gear and prep off site, depending on uh, what the production is. Yeah. And, and what does a day in your life look like? What's a, a typical day for, for Kevin at attention? Sure. Uh, let's see. Typical day so far has been uh, we do a morning check in uh, with our production ops team and I get updates on anything that's currently coming down the line production wise. Uh, I do that from home. I come into the office here. I'll pull gear if there's a shoot going out. I will uh, you know, go through quality control of any gear that has come back, making sure things are firmware updated, um, cleaned, and everything's basically ready to go as soon as it's available and needed. Okay, can we see the green room? Yeah, what, what happens yeah. There? Let me show you the rest of the uh, the rest of the space. Uh, so we'll start this in this area here. We have our lovely uh, crafty layout um, and our PO area for our producers to hang out uh, and do their work as we're shooting. So this is our green room here. We also have a small uh, makeup table as well. Um, this is for our talents or our um, clients who come to the attention stage. They can be nice and comfortable. They have tables to work at. Um, we have a television here so we can put up our, um, you know, our camera feed from the studio and all that. So they can be in here and they can still be engaged in the shoot, um, you know, and have their own space to work as well. And this is where they do their makeup, or yeah. Is there so this is um, this is just one of our hair and makeup stations. Uh, we've just moved in here, so we have a second space. But our main hair and makeup room is out this way. And then you have someone coming in to do that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, we hire. Uh, we'll hire uh, hair and makeup wardrobe uh, freelancers here in Los Angeles uh, to come in. We have our. Uh, we have two makeup stations currently set up. We have a changing corner and whatnot in case we need to change outfits and wardrobe throughout the day. Our steamers, our clothes irons, our um, hangers and things and everything. So basically anything hair and, our hair and makeup team needs, we have it here for them. And what's the coolest project 
you've worked on? Yeah, uh, let's see. So one of the cooler projects I've personally done uh, for the 2020 Tokyo Olympics, which actually took place uh, in 2021, obviously in the summer, uh, I led a team and we flew out to Tokyo and shot in the Procter & Gamble building in the fan park. Uh, that was one of the cooler projects that I've personally worked on. All right, that's awesome. We're really looking forward to seeing what's coming next at Attention and thanks so much for the tour. Yeah, thank you guys for coming. I am, uh, it was really cool showing you our stage here at Attention. Uh, check us out. Uh, we're on Instagram and TikTok. Um, and, you know, we're always open to new and exciting projects.